today I'm taking a trip to Shenzhen Valley Ventures which is a company that uh, might sound like a VC firm and I think they do investments but it's more like an accelerator or incubator related to hardware. Uh, so we have a bunch of these companies in Shenzhen because Shenzhen is the Silicon Valley of hardware. We are building a platform for international companies and international startups to really understand Shenzhen and China ecosystem. Guys, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I'm super excited about the meeting at Shenzhen Valley Ventures um, because we chatted for you know one hour or so. They showed me the place and uh, you know there is a lot of opportunities what we can do together um, when it comes to startup grind uh, they even want to do some events with us maybe in the future they maybe even want to sponsor our events and also uh, there is a lot of other things we can do because they want to connect with startups in Europe they want to connect with startups in other Asian countries or you know even in the States and so that's what we are kind of good at because we have connections everywhere not only through startup grind but also through other things that we do It's great to have outreach, it's great to kind of share your event and stuff like that, but I also need to have some value proposition for these guys, you know, so that I can actually persuade them to participate and stuff like that, you know. Uh, and also I need to make sure that it's relevant for them and, uh, you know, that we are bringing value to the community because otherwise it's not really gonna work and it's not gonna go anywhere. You know, we need to look at it from this perspective, you know, even you know, to give you this kind of feedback because, you know, I can very easily send an email to our community, but if it's not gonna be relevant, they are not gonna be listening Listening to me and they are gonna be angry at me you know that I'm sending this email basically spamming because it's not really good for them I was amazed when I was in India by the talent and by the energy that I saw in you and other people and so I would love to I'd love to contribute I would love to help yesterday I visited these guys at uh, Shenzhen Valley Ventures and today I am attending a conference about emerging, emerging trends in China tech. So it should be a good event, good content and great networking. I'm also going to meet some of my friends. Uh, there is going to be uh, my former professor from Peking University HSBC Business School. So uh, it's going to be great catching up. I'm just on my way to the conference and uh, I want to share something with you because I think this could actually help uh, some of you or uh, some people that you know. Um, so I'm hustling a little bit because as you may know, I am going for a global conference, Startup Brand Global Conference to San Francisco. Actually tomorrow morning I'm flying to San Francisco. And uh, because I started documenting this entrepreneurial journey of mine, I would like to document the conference and what's going to happen there as well. And so... <laughs> I'm actually looking for somebody who is just getting started, as myself. Uh, they are passionate about startups and also they are good with camera or at least they have the hustle that they want to take their iPhone and they just want to create some great content, some behind the scenes content. What I did is that I tweeted on DRock, uh, the guy that is doing the Daily V stuff, the vlogging for Gary Vaynerchuk right now. So I tweeted at him. And I said that I'm looking for somebody who is just getting started, who is a young hustler in San Francisco, if he knows about anybody, and that I'm offering free tickets to the conference and the access and that we can create some content together. And so he retweeted the stuff and I got already like five people, six people that got back to me and were asking for more details. I hope it's gonna work out, maybe not. Maybe I'm not gonna find anybody, maybe those people that got back to me, they are not gonna be as good, you know, even though I'm not looking for somebody professional. I'm looking for somebody who has the hustle. I'm doing my vlogs on iPhone, so if somebody will come to me and say, I have an iPhone, I don't have even a professional camera, but I know what you wanna do, 
I love Gary V, I love Daily V, so I know what you're looking for and I just want to hustle with you, then I'm going to say yes and I'm going to give them tickets for free and I'm going to give them the access because, you know, as I said, I'm also getting started. So I'm not fancy. I'm not looking for anybody who is professional, who is fancy. I'm just looking for somebody who has the hustle. I just wanted to document and tell you that the hustle not only works for Gary V and these guys, it works for us too. We just need to put in the hustle and we need to have real expectations. So if I'm just getting started, I'm not going to approach Casey Neistat. I'm just going to approach some people that are also getting started and I'm telling you there are so many hustlers out there so this is just the message that I wanted to pass on you and uh, let's see what happens I mean one of the things that made Apple really really powerful is that they were able to sort of co-design hardware and software and one thing I always found really interesting was the ratio of number of like hardware designers versus software engineers, it's like 100 to one software engineers and hardware engineers, right? It's just insane the number of people they need to pull off something that complicated on the software side. And for now, I think Cinta has its time, and it's not that easy to duplicate. I definitely agree with the point that it has way to go. We are trying to do that. We are trying to build this like international, especially startup community because that's what we focus on. So that's what we are, you know, doing. I even talked to Eric from Seed Studio and he like kind of like said, yeah, we also want to do it because it's going to benefit all of us. If you look at any center of innovation, yeah, any any place Diverse. where where you have that, that secret yeah. sauce, where things are happening, yeah. um, what you have ultimately is you have people from lots of different backgrounds that are coming together, that have a have a fire in the belly, they, they want to create something. I've always been very, what I call, stage agnostic. Uh, because what you find is that, especially in China, the most scarce resource is a good CEO. And when I say a good CEO, I don't just mean that he's smart, but it is also that he is trustworthy. Fundraising is strategic. And I'll give you one example. The example is, I think it was in uh, 03, um, when Alibaba raised a big round together with SoftBank, and basically out of that round, we raised something like 60, 70 million. The purpose of that round is not because Alibaba is out of money. The purpose of that round is to make sure we got all the money in the capital market from our competitor. We took the oxygen out of the room. And because of that, e EachNet folded, eBay folded. So it is strategic. And I would also say the example, which is to say, the best CFO are constantly in fundraising mode. In a sense, a lot of these stories are incomplete. You know, when Lei Jun says, you know, speed is everything. Yeah, he tells you speed is everything after he prepared himself for 40 years. I was very surprised because I connected with a lot of, uh, a lot of great people from the startup community, uh, some investors, and uh, I connected with Chris and we are also working on some stuff together with Chris. So it was great catching up and meeting some new friends, new partners.